Good day, you're watching Eat This TV News, all food news, all the time. Welcome to Eat This TV News, all food news, all the time. And I'm your host, Shade. Our top story today is the growing trend of plant-based meat alternatives. Major companies like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods have seen a surge in sales as more consumers look for sustainable and ethical food choices. A recent study showed that the plant-based meat market is expected to reach $8.3 by 2025. The rise is fueled by concerns over health, animal welfare, and environmental impact. However, the trend is not without controversy. Critics argue that while plant-based meats are better for the environment, they are highly processed and may not be as healthy as they seem. What do you think? Is plant-based meat the future or just a passing fad? Let us know in the comments. The controversy surrounding plant-based processed foods, such as meat substitutes, stems from concerns about their health implications. Despite being marketed as a healthier alternative to traditional meat, these products are often highly processed and can contain levels of high sodium preservatives and artificial ingredients. Critics argue that the extensive processing strips away many of the natural benefits typically associated with plant-based foods, such as fiber and essential nutrients. Additionally, the inclusion of unhealthy additives to improve taste and texture raises questions about their overall healthiness. Studies and nutritional experts suggest that while a plant-based food can be beneficial, it's important to distinguish between minimally processed plant-based foods and high-processed plant-based alternatives. For the more balanced diet, they recommend focusing on whole foods and being mindful of the ingredients in plant-based food processed products. Next up, lab-grown meat is making headlines. The FDA recently approved the sale of lab-grown chicken in the United States. This revolutionary technology promises to reduce the environmental footprint of meat production and eliminate the need for animal slaughter. But not everybody is on board. Traditional farmers and ranchers are pushing back, arguing that lab-grown meat threatens their livelihoods and the integrity of the food supply. There are also concerns about the long-term health effects and ethical implication of lab-grown products. This development raises important questions about the future of food. Will lab-grown meat become a staple in our diets or will it face too much resistance? Only time will tell. In other news, climate change continues to impact global food security. Unpredictable weather patterns, extreme temperatures, and natural disasters are disrupting food production and distribution worldwide. Crops like coffee, wheat, and corn are particularly vulnerable, and prices are expected to rise as supply chains struggle to adapt. Farmers are turning innovative solutions such as drought-resisting crops and advanced irrigation techniques to combat these challenges. However, experts warn that without significant action on climate change, food shortages could become more common. It's a sobering reminder of the interconnectedness of our food systems and the environment. The current inflation and food shortages in the USA have sparked significant controversy, with many attributing these crises to a mix of policy failures, supply chain disruptions, and corporate practices. Critics argue that government policies such as excessive monetary stimulus and regulatory constraints have exacerbated inflationary pressures. Meanwhile, supply chain bottlenecks driven by pandemic-related disruptions and labor shortage have further strained the food availability. Additionally, some point to corporate greed, noting that major food companies have increased prices uh, to protect profit margins, contributing to the rising cost of living. The debate is highly polarized, with calls for more strategic policy inventions and greater corporate accountability to stabilize the economy and ensure food security for all Americans. Case in point, if you go to the supermarket these days, you'll find your orange juice in a slightly small container costing more. On a lighter note, food delivery apps have exploded in popularity, especially since the pandemic. Companies like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub have transformed the way we access food, offering convenience in a wide variety of options at our fingertip. But this convenience comes at a cost. Restaurant owners have raised concerns about the high fees charged by these platforms, which can eat into already thin profit margins. Additionally, there are questions about the working conditions and pay for delivery drivers. As the food delivery industry continues to grow, these issues will need to be addressed to ensure a fair and sustainable model for all involved. 
Food delivery apps like Grubhub, DoorDash are increasingly despised by restaurant owners due to the exorbitant fees they charge, which often eat into already thin profit margins. These platforms typically impose commission rates ranging from 15 to 30 percent on each order, which can significantly reduce the revenue that a restaurant earns off of these sales. Uh, further high fees are compounded additional costs for marketing and promotion that these apps encourage restaurants to participate in further straining their finances many restaurant owners also feel that customer service issues and delivery problems reflect poorly on their business despite their outside control these combination of high costs and potential reputational damage has led to growing frustrations and resentment among restaurant operators towards these delivery giants Finally, let's talk about food waste. According to the USDA, up to 40% of food in the United States goes uneaten. This only represents a massive waste of resources, but also contributes to greenhouse gas emissions when food ends up in landfills. Innovative solutions are emerging to tackle this problem. Apps like Too Good To Go and Oleo connect consumers with surplus food from restaurants and grocery stores at discounted prices. Additionally, more companies are focusing on upcycling food waste into new products, such as using spent grain from breweries to make flour. Reducing food waste is a critical step towards a more sustainable food system, and it's encouraging to see these efforts gain momentum. That's all for today's food news update. Thank you for joining us on Eat This TV. Be sure to follow us on social media for more updates and insights into the world of food. Until next time, keep eating well and stay informed. Good day, you're watching Eat This TV News, all food news, all the time.